Okay, so if you have a pretty good understanding of powers and square roots, well then this should be an easy problem to solve without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at this problem. We have the square root of two to the seventh power. So what is this equal to? Well, we have a multiple choice question here and let's take a look at our answers. So A is eight, B is 14, C is two times the square root of two, and D is eight times the square root of two. All right, so once again, no calculators, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy to understand way to learn math, well then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, a pretty simple problem here. And uh, for those of you that really do understand square roots and powers, again, this should be pretty easy to solve without a calculator. So the square root of two to the seventh power, what is this equal to? Well, the correct answer is D which of course is eight times the square root of two. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot all this math. I haven't seen this stuff since 1983. Well, I totally get it. And matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna show you two ways to solve this problem. This is not that difficult. So let's go and get into it right now. All right, so the first thing that we want to observe is that we do have a multiple choice question here. So in math, when you don't understand you know, how to do a problem, is it okay to guess? Absolutely. Now, some of you might be like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's what I wanna hear. Well, listen, it's always better to take a random guess. You know, the worst thing you can do is literally leave a question blank, right? So just take a guess. So, you know, maybe some of you might say, well, this has a square root of two, so maybe the answer has a square root of two. But of course, the best thing to do here is to actually know the math. All right, so there's two things that are going on. So we have a power, okay? So we want to understand powers. So I'm gonna do a simple example here in a second of two to the fourth power. So we're gonna make sure that we understand powers. And then the next thing we need to understand is how to multiply square roots. So if you understand how to multiply square roots and you understand how to find a power, well, that's enough to solve this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and review two to the fourth power. Okay, so this is a power in mathematics, and when we have a power, there's basically two parts to it. So this big number down here is called the base, and this small number is called the exponent. The entire thing is um, a power, so this is the exponent, and this is the base. So you can have all sorts of powers in mathematics. You can have x to the fifth, so it doesn't have to be um, a number. Matter of fact, it could be like five to the x, where five, this is a number, that could be the base, and you can have a variable as the exponent. So again, a power has two parts. But how does this work, or what does it mean? Well, two to the fourth power means the following. It means take two and multiply it by itself four times. So the exponent tells us how many times to multiply this number by itself. So two times two times two times two. So two times two is four. And of course, uh, two times two here is four. Four times four is 16. All right, so this is just a real basic review of powers and exponents. And I suspect uh, most of you out there already know that. You're like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is easy. Now, uh, the next thing that we need to understand is how to multiply square roots. All right, so here is a simple example. So the square root of two squared. All right, so we just covered the powers and exponents, the base and exponent, right? So the square root of two squared means we're gonna take this and multiply it by itself, right? So that means we're gonna uh, figure out what the square root of two times the square root of two is equal to. Well, now we need to understand how to multiply two square roots. Now this rule or property works the same uh, way as long as you have the same root. So we're talking about square roots here, but if I had two cube roots, this would be uh, the same thing, right? What you cannot do in mathematics is multiply a cube root times a uh, square root, all right? So you have to have either uh, two cube roots or two um, things to the fifth root 
or two square roots. So, you know, I'm kind of not covering a lot of math here because I don't want to turn this into a full lesson. So we're going to keep things nice and basic, but uh, it's not that difficult to understand how to multiply two square roots. All right, so the first thing that we need to just kind of know is that we indeed can multiply two square roots. So this is how it works. So when we're multiplying one square root times another, all we have to do is multiply the numbers underneath the square root. So here we're talking about two and two. So we're gonna multiply these numbers and put this under one big square root. Okay, so the square root of two times the square root of two is equal to the square root of two times two. And of course, two times two is four. So the answer here is the square root of four, but of course the square root of four is two. All right, so if you understand these two things that I just covered, how to multiply two square roots, again, this uh, works the same way with uh, cube roots, but we're just gonna focus on uh, square roots. So if you understand this and you understand the basics of powers and exponents, well then you should be able to put this all together to figure out the answer to this problem right here. All right, so the square root of two to the seventh power. So what does this mean? Well, it means that we're gonna take this thing and multiply it by itself seven times. Okay, so we can literally write this out in this manner. Okay, so the square root of two to the seventh power means we're gonna take that square root of two and multiply it by itself seven times. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we already know that the square root of two times the square root of two is uh, two, right? Because the square root of two times the square root of two is the square root of four, right? We just covered that. So this is the square root of four or the square root of two times two, which of, which of course is four, the square root of four is two. All right, so I'm not gonna kind of cover that again. So here we have another square root of four, which of course is two. So this is two and this is a product, right? So we're um, multiplying, so this is two, this is another two, this is another square root of four, which of course is two. And we're left with one square root of two. So the answer is gonna be two times two times two times the square root of two. So two times two times two is eight. So our final answer is eight square root of two. All right, so this is one kind of simple direct approach that you can take to uh, figure out the answer to this question. Now I'm gonna show you another approach here in just one second, but uh, before we do that, we're gonna take a look at this, which of course is an invitation to support this YouTube channel. Now my goal, okay, and hopefully I do a pretty good job, but my goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way, okay? But really, I think my number one objective is to help people never quit on mathematics, okay? Especially people who, you know, struggle with math. And oftentimes, if people get it stuck in their head that they can't learn math. They think that they're bad in math or they aren't, uh, they're not smart enough. That is not the case, okay? What you need is really uh, great math instruction and time, okay? Learning math is really, um, the sum total of a lot of skills, and it does take time. If you think about it, how long have you been in school, right? So maybe you went to elementary school and middle school, high school, or primary school. You know, these are a lot of years, okay? And you're learning a lot of things over those years. These are a lot of topics. So if you, you know, didn't really understand that stuff, or you want to go back and review, you're not going to be able to do it real fast. You got to be patient with the process. But the most important thing is to, you know, not give up and believe in yourself. And beyond that, you got to have crystal clear, you know, easy to understand math instruction. So if you really want to learn math from me, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And uh, the course or the things that we're talking about here, basic square roots, powers, whatnot, uh, let me uh, suggest a couple of quick uh, courses for you. So you might want to check out my algebra course or maybe my math skills rebuilder course. But nevertheless, I definitely need your help to reach as many people as I possibly can on YouTube. So please uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at another way to solve this problem. Okay, so we have the square root of two to the seventh power. Now, this approach I'm gonna show you would be appropriate uh, for someone that uh, may have taken like an algebra course. So you may not under, or me, you may have not learned this yet, and that's okay. But the first thing that we wanna understand is that we can write the square root of two uh, in terms of what we call a rational exponent, okay? That's just kind of fancy language to uh, basically say that we can write the square root of two as two to the one half power. This right here is an exponent. It's also a rational number, but uh, we just need to understand that the square root of two is equal to two to the one half power. 
Now, if you don't believe me that the one-half power or taking something to the one-half power is the same thing as taking the square uh, root of something, just go into your calculator and go 16. And now you need to know how to take a uh, exponent or power an exponent in your calculator. So look for this button. It's an upside down V. It's called a caret or maybe like a Y to the X button or an X to the Y button, something like this. And then put parentheses one half and you'll see that you're going to get four, right? 16 to the one half power is the same thing as the square root of 16, which of course is four. All right. So the first thing that we need to understand is that the square root of two is equal to two to the one half power. Okay. So I'm going to substitute this square root of two uh, with a two to the one half power. And that's going to look like this. Okay, so here is our problem. So the square root of 2 to the seventh power, the square root of 2, again, is equivalent to 2 to the 1 half power. So the problem here is really 2 to the 1 half power to the seventh power. Okay, so we have a power to a power. Now I'm going to show you another simple property here. As a matter of fact, I'll explain it right now. So if I have 2 to the third power squared, okay, what is that equal to? 2 to the third power means what? Well, that's 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 to the third power. Now, if I'm taking 2 to the third power and I'm multiplying it by itself, I'm squaring it, that means I'm multiplying it by another 2 times 2 times 2, right? This is 2 to the third, and this is 2 to the third. How many 2s do we have here? We have 2 to the sixth. So 2 to the third power uh, squared is equal to 2 to the sixth. So we have a property here. When you have an outside exponent to an inside exponent, all you need to do is multiply these exponents to get the answer. So 2 to the third squared is equal to 2 to the sixth, and we could see that right here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right here. We're going to multiply this 7 times this 1 half. Okay, so 7 times 1 half is what? That's 7 halves. But let's just go ahead and turn this into a decimal. So 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half, but we'll leave it as 3.5. Okay, so hopefully everyone understands that. And now we need to understand what 2 to the 3.5 is or how we can think about it, okay? So how can we think of 2 to the 3.5? Well, if this was just 2 to the third power, we know that's 8, okay? 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, but we have this 0.5. But what we can do here is be creative and break this up. So I'm going to show you another property of powers and exponents. So if I take 2 squared and I multiply it by 2 to the third, the answer is 2 to the fifth. Okay, so 2 squared is what? 2 times 2 times 2 to the third is what? 2 times 2 times 2. So if I multiply all these 2s twos, uh, twos together, I get 5 twos or 2 to the fifth. So what's the property that's going on here? Well, basically, when you're multiplying uh, two powers with the same base, all we have to do is add the exponents, okay? So 2 squared times 2 to the third is equal to 2 to the 2 plus 3, which, of course, is 2 to the fifth power. So let's use this uh, property of powers and exponents to arrange our power this way. Okay, so we have 2 to the 3.5. Let's separate this in this manner. So we have 2 to the third times 2 to the 0.5. Now, if I was multiple, if I gave you this problem, you know, and of course I just showed you the property, the bases are the same. So all I would, all I would have to do here is add the exponents, right? So 3 plus 0.5 is th uh, 3.5. But the reason why it's great to write the problem this way is now we know that 2 to the third is 8, and now we have 2 to the 0.5. Okay, what is 0.5 equal to? Well, that's the fraction 1 half, right? So this is 2 to the 1 half, and we just talked about uh, rational exponents, 2 to, the one, 2 to the 1 half, is equivalent to the square root of 2. So our final answer is 8 times the square root of 2. All right, so there is two methods that you can use to solve this problem. Now, uh, there's probably other ways you can kind of think about what's going on here, but the bottom line is that you need to understand the properties of powers and exponents. And there is other things that I'm leaving out here. And this is a very important topic in mathematics. But uh, hopefully this little video was interesting. And uh, if you learned something, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.